Rust supplant diseases caused by pathogenic fungi of the order Puccinials. An estimated 168 rust genera and approximately 7,000 species, more than half of which belong to the genus Puccinia, are currently accepted. Rust fungi are highly specialized parasites with several unique features. A single species may produce up to five morphologically and cytologically distinct spore producing structures viz. Spermagonia, Aecia urdinia, Telia, and Basida in successive stages of reproduction. Unlike other plant pathogens, rust usually affects healthy and vigorously growing plants, so the infection is limited to plant parts, such as leaves, petioles, tender shoots, stem, fruits, etc. Perennial systemic infection may cause deformities such as growth retardation, which is brooms, stem canker, hypertrophy of the affected tissues a formation of galls. Plants with severe rust infection may appear stunted, chlorotic, or otherwise discolored. Rust sporulates on affected plant parts. Rust is most commonly seen as colored powder, composed of tiny eosiospores which land on vegetation producing pustules, or uridia, that form on the lower surfaces. During late spring or early summer, yellow-orange or brown, hair-like oligulate structures called telia grow on the leaves or emerge from bark of woody hosts such as juniperus species. These telia produce teleospores which will germinate and wear ill basidiospores, spreading and causing further infection. Taxonomy The taxonomy of Puccinials is complex and the darker colored smuts can be mistaken for rust. Rusts are so named after the reddish rusty looking sorry and the disease is usually noticed after rain. The group is considered one of the most harmful pathogens to agriculture, horticulture and forestry. These fungi are major concerns and limiting factors for successful cultivation of agricultural and forestry crops. White pine blister rust, wheat stem rust and coffee rust are examples of notoriously damaged damaging, economically important rusts. Spores. Rusts can produce up to five spores types during the life cycle. Zero pus neospores haploid gametes in heterothallic rusts. Iesiospores non-repeating dicaryotic vegetative spores. Eardineospores repeating dicaryotic vegetative spores. These spores are referred to as the repeating stage because they can cause auto-infection. These spores are red, orange and are a characteristic sign of rust fungus infection. II teleospores deployed spores that produce basida and the survival stage of life cycle. IV basidiospores stem from basida, haploid spores which infect the alternate host. Although these are rarely observed outside of the laboratory. Dot. Rust fungi can be categorized by how many types of spores are produced during the life cycle. Fungi that produce all five spores are termed macrocyclic. Fungi that lack pusneospores and etiospores in the life cycle are termed microcyclic and always have an autoecious life cycle. Demicyclic fungi delete the uroidal stage from the life cycle. Understanding the life cycles of rust fungi allows for proper disease management. Life cycle. All rusts are obligate parasites meaning that they require a living host to complete their life cycle. They generally do not kill the host plant but can severely reduce growth and yield. Cereal crops can be devastated in one season and trees that get infected in the main stem within the first five years by the rust cronarchum. Quercuum often die. Rust fungi can also be categorized by the life cycle. Three basic types of life cycles are recognized based on the number of spore states as macrocyclic, demicyclic, and microcyclic. The macrocyclic life cycle has all spores.
Bohr states the demi-cyclic lacks the erdineal state, and the microcyclic cycle lacks both the eschel and erdineal states, thus possess only spermagonia and telia. Spermagonia may be absent from each type but especially the microcyclic life cycle. In macrocyclic and demi-cyclic life cycles, the rust may be either host alternating, i.e., the eschel state is on one kind of plant but the telial state on a different and unrelated plant, or non-host alternating, i.e., the eschel and telial states on the same kind of plant. Heteroecious rust fungi require two unrelated hosts to complete their life cycle, with the primary host being infected by esiospores and the alternate host being infected with basidiospores. This can be contrasted with an autoecious fungus which can complete its life cycle on a single host species. Host plant rust fungus relationship. There are definite patterns of relationship with host plant groups and the rust fungi that parasitize them. Some genera of rust fungi, especially Puccinia and Neuromyces, comprise species that are capable of parasitizing plants of many families, but many genera appear to be rather definitely restricted to certain plants. Host restriction may, in heteroecious species, apply to both phases of life cycle or to only one phase. Infection process. The fungi produce asexual spores which disperse by wind, water or by insect vector spreading the infection. Rust fungi are biotrophs taking nutrients from living cells. When airborne spores settle on a plant, weak hydrophobic interactions are formed with the cutin on the plant cell surface, securing it. By a process not fully understood, the production of mucus-like substances called adhesions initially stick the spore to the plant surface. Once attached, the spore germinates by growing a germ tube and eventually locates a stoma by a touch-responsive process known as thymotropism. This involves growing towards a ridge between the epidermal cells, followed by a perpendicular growth which end the stoma. Inside the stoma, the hyphae tips flatten out to form structures known as a pressurier that lock to the cell walls. It is thought that the whole process is mediated by a mechanosensitive calcium ion channel, located within the germ tube tip, which produces electric currents that stretch the cell membranes, changing gene expression and forming the apressorium. Then a peg grows into the plant's merciful cells. The peg produces specialized hyphal tips, known as haustoria. These spread around the plant cells without invading the membranes. The plant cell membranes invaginate around the main haustorial body forming a space known as the extra haustorial matrix. An iron and phosphorus rich neck band bridges the plant and fungal membranes in the space between the cells for water flow, known as the apoplast, thus preventing the nutrients reaching the plant cells. The haustorium contains amino acid and hexose sugar transporters and H plus adpases which are used for active transport of nutrients from the plant, nourishing the fungus. It continues growing until spore growth occurs. The process repeats every 10 to 14 days, producing numerous spores carried by wind to new hosts. Common rust fungi in agriculture. Cronarchum ribicola, the primary host occurrence, and white pines the secondary. Heterocyclic and macrocyclic. Gymnosporangium juniperi virginiani, Juniperus virginiana is the primary host and apple pear or hawthorn is the secondary host. Heteroecious and demicyclic. Hemileivastatrix, primary host is coffee plant, unknown alternate host. Heteroecious. Phacopsora mabomia and P. pachyrhizae, primary host is soybean and various legumes. Unknown alternate host, heteroecious, Puccinia coronata, oats of the primary host, Ramnus spp, is alternate host.
heteroecious and macrocyclic Puccinia graminis. Primary hosts include Kentucky bluegrass barley and wheat. Common Barberry is the alternate host, heteroecious and macrocyclic. Puccinia hemerocalidis dalili is primary host. Petrina sp is alternate host. Heteroecious and macrocyclic Puccinia persistens subsp. Triticina causes wheat rust in grains. It is also known as brown or red rust. Puccinia sorghi causes common rust in corn. Puccinia striaformis causes yellow rust in cereals. Euromyces appendiculatus causes a rust of beans. Euromyces phaseoli, primary host, bean, autoecious and macrocyclic. Puccinia melanocephala causes brown rust in sugarcane. Puccinia cuni causes orange rust in sugarcane. Dot. Management of rust fungi diseases. The control methods of rust fungus diseases depend largely on the life cycle of the particular pathogen. The following are examples of disease management plans used to control macrocyclic and demicyclic diseases. Macrocyclic disease. Developing a management plan for this type of disease depends largely on whether the repeating stage occur on the economically important host plant, or the alternate host. For example, the repeating stage in white pine blister rust disease does not occur on white pines but on the alternate host, Rebs SPP, during August and September Rebs SPP, give rise to teleospores which infect white pines. Removal of the alternate host disrupts the life cycle of the rust fungi Cronarchum ribicola, preventing the formation of basidiospores which infect the primary host. Although spores from white pines cannot infect other white pines, survival spores may overwinter on infected pines and reinfect Rebs SPP. The following season, infected tissue is removed from white pines and strict quarantines of Rebs Rebs SPP are maintained in high-risk areas. Puccinia graminis is a macrocyclic heteroecious fungus that causes wheat stem rust disease. The repeating stage in this fungus occurs on wheat and not the alternate host, Barbary. The repeating stage allows the disease to persist in wheat even though the alternate host may be removed. Planting resistant crops is the ideal form of disease prevention, however, mutations can give rise to new strains of fungi that can overcome plant resistance. Although the disease cannot be stopped by removal of the alternate host, the life cycle is disrupted and the rate of mutation is decreased because of reduced genetic recombination. This allows resistance bred crops to remain effective for a longer period of time. Demicyclic disease. Because there is no repeating stage in the life cycle of demicyclic fungi, removal of the primary of the alternate host will disrupt the disease cycle. This method, however, is not highly effective in managing all demicyclic diseases. Cedar apple rust disease, for example, can persist despite removal of one of the hosts since spores can be disseminated from long distances. The severity of cedar apple rust disease can be managed by removal of basidiospore producing galls from junipers of the application of protective fungicides to junipers. Home control rust is very hard to treat. Fungicides such as Mancusaba triforine may help but may never eradicate the disease. Some organic preventative solutions are available and sulfur powder is known to stop germination. High standards of hygiene and good soil drainage and careful watering may minimize problems. Any appearance of rust must be immediately dealt with by removing and burning all affected leaves, composting, or leaving infected vegetation on the ground will spread the disease. 
Commercial control. In large plantations in USA, fungicides are applied by air. The process is expensive and fungicide application is best reserved for seasons when foliar diseases are severe. Research indicates the higher the foliar disease severity, the greater the return from the use of fungicides. There are a variety of preventative methods that can also be employed. Symptoms of rust disease are correlated to relatively high moisture. The avoidance of overhead watering at night, using drip irrigation, reducing crop density, and using fans to circulate airflow will lower the relative moisture and decrease the severity of rust infection. The use of rust-resistant plants, crop rotation can break the disease cycle because many rusts are host-specific. Inspect all imported plants and cuttings for symptoms. It is important to continuously observe these plants because rust diseases have a latent period. Many crops, such as wheat, are replanted with disease-free seed. Dot. Host plants affected. Rusts are often named after the host species that they infect. For example, Puccinia xanthi infects the flowering plant Cockleburr. It is probable that most plant species are affected by some species of rust. Recently, a total of 95 rust fungi belonging to 25 genera associated with 117 forest plant species belonging to 80 host genera under 43 host families were reported from the Western Ghats, Kerala, India. Rust fungi include Ascidium, Ceratelium, Chaconia, Coleosporium, Crossipsora, Didymopsorella, Hamspora, Hapalophrygmidium, Hemileia, Kern Campella, Cuniola, Quailingia, Macabuna, Maravalia, Melempsora, Olivia, Physopella, Puccinia, Ravenalia, Eurasium, Eurado, Eurido, Peltes, Euromyces, Xenostella, Zagawania. Rust infected host genera include Acacia, Acalypha, Agaritina, Alba. Albizia, Arundinaria, Bambusa, Bidens, Blepharus, Bombax, Bridelia, Calicarpa, Canarium, Canthium, Catunaragum, Cinnamomum, Cissus, Clostanthus, Clerodendron, Cophia, Poi, Cosmostigma, Crotalaria, Delbergia, Dendrocalamus, Deris, Diospiros, Dipterocanthus, Eliagnus, Elephantopus, Elitaria, Aerogrostus, Euphorbia, Fecus, Flac, Ortea, Gruia, Holarina, Holoptelia, Hypericum, Acnocarpus, Eschemum, Jasminum, Justicia, Losneriella, Lavunga, Myogyne, Meliasma, Myomasops, Morus, Neolitia, Osimum, Olaire, Oxalis, Pavetta, Persicaria, Philanthus, Plectranthus, Plumeria, Pongamia, Premna, Protasparagus, Rubis, Salix, Spondia, Strobilanthes, Strychnose, Tabernae Montana, Terminalia, Todalia, Trichosynthase, Vernonia, Venia, Right Ear, Xanthophyllum, Xylia, and Zizyphus. Some of the better known hosts include Aracema trifilum, Jack in the Pulpit, Evena sativa, Oats, Berberus vulgaris, Common Barberry, Broad Beans, Coffea arabica, Coffee, Crater Egus monogyna, Hawthorn, Chrysanthemum, Cydonia, Quince. Euphorbia maculata, spotted spurge, fuchsia spp, fuchsia, garlic, hordium vulgare, barley, juniperus virginiana, red cedar, juniperus communis, juniper, allium ampelebrisum, leek, malus apple, mentha piperita, peppermint, mespilus medla, onion, pelagonium, primula veris, primula vulgaris, Pyris pear, rose or spp, roses, trigicum spp, wheat, oxalis spp, oxalis, secal cereal, rye, Senecio vulgaris common groundsel, Xanthium canadense cockleburr, hyperparasites of rusts, in the family Sphaeropsidacea of Sphaeropsidales fungi, species of the genus Daluca are hyperparasites on rusts, gallery, dot 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 dot.